Thank you guys all for coming. Uh, you probably know this is the Vermont Production Collective Roundtable discussion. That, that's not surprising to anybody, right? And um, we, so like the format for this hour that we have here, which is gonna like evaporate, is uh, I'm up here, I'm gonna introduce this prompt, but then we're gonna do breakout groups with the idea that we'll have smaller groups and people can just share what comes up for these prompts. We've got uh, Brian over here, who's one of my VPC board members, and Kristen in the back, and myself. So we'll break into three groups. And the context here is that this is just like an empowerment hour. And so there's no wrong, there's no wrong ideas. There could be like really, uh, long ideas we do want to be a little bit concise but the effort here is that just in this hour we all talk about what comes up and then we'll think of just kind of one thing that is a proactive action item and the vpc if you guys don't know is the organizing group of filmmakers here in vermont um, we do events like this which is essentially just to empower filmmakers we do some legislative stuff and some more tackling the challenges of being a filmmaker in the state. And the piece of housekeeping today is, actually, who here is from Central Vermont? Nice, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are starting a Central Vermont Filmmakers Meetup group. Chad is in the back showing off our email sign-up list. If you're interested remotely, um, sign up for that, because that's going to be something new that we do. We've been doing a Chittenden County meetup, which has been going great, and it seems to be a really healthy thing for filmmakers. So, the way this is going to work, you guys, this is really the main question here is, what is so important about telling your story, right? And so the idea here is just think about, like, personally, what's so important about telling your personal story? And it could be too, if you want to have an angle of what feels important about telling your community story, but the idea is to think about and give value to you internally and what your story might be. And then a follow-up question being is just, what's kind of one step you know that you could do towards getting to, to telling that story? And this is regardless of medium, um, and I'll just like encourage that when we get into groups, um, that you don't necessarily need to say, oh, you know, this is how I'm gonna write my script. Um, I think we're encouraging all of us to think, and to, again, just to give value to like what the story is that you have inside you, or what is interesting in your local community. Any questions on that in general? All right, I'm gonna like, so we're gonna have to move some chairs, guys. Hey guys, we have like uh, 10 minutes, and then we're going to get kicked out of the chocolate shop here. Uh, how, you guys, did that like uh, spark anything for you guys? Yes. Yes? And, and Brian and Kristen, when you guys are done, um, yeah, come on up here. Well, that was really sweet. That was inspiring. That um, got my synapses firing personally. And I appreciate all you guys sharing. We've got like 10 minutes. We'll kind of like recap what the big themes were for our group, you know, with the effort that hearing what other people's perspective, uh, perspectives are on this will get us inspired. Um, so we had a group that, the, actually I would say like, uh, if we were looking at like a data chart, um, our top data cloud would actually be weather. <laughs> and um, considering uh, how, as Vermonters, uh, weather's a big part of our life, living with nature is a big part of our life. Those of us who maybe have lived in other places, I came here recently from Brooklyn, where you don't care what the weather is really, in a way that you do in Vermont. And then um, how weather could also be used as like a narrative device, you know, like wind, trees, with leaves, trees with red leaves, trees with no leaves. Um, so anyways, weather was a big one. We had um, why it's important is 
just like the big picture remembering that everyone has like a unique perspective. And uh, someone brought up, yeah, every story has been told, but it hasn't been told by you, right? So just keeping that in your heart. Um, one was about the chapter you are in life. This came up in regards to just considering how at each age you are in your life, you're a different person, your impact on society is different, and just considering, considering that. I'm not going to be able to write these up here, you guys. But is this like sinking in for everybody? Yeah? Um, the other one was um, when thinking about someone brought up that they weren't super interested in telling their own personal story, but were interested in their community story, and that it helps just build and strengthen the relationship with you and your neighbors and your community. Um, and then I think our, uh, we had a great one, which was that it may not be that important to tell your personal story. <laughs> and just to keep that in mind, and that if a story is well told, and an audience, but you know, no matter what your medium is, they're engaging with your narrative, and they're, they're moved, and, and your whole spiel is like working, and it's not your personal deep, you know, you haven't left it all out there, that's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that, that maybe it's not important. Uh, our, and we did have some, we kind of got rushed, we had like a few one-liner action items, um, some kind of profound stuff. Um, was one, just like trust the process. And there's a lot of times coming through life when you're like, who actually wants to hear from me or my tiny town of 8,000 people, like who cares? And that just comes down to trust, you know, and you having like faith that like the story is relevant. Um, there was one too that we talked about, like we had a group of mainly Vermonters with a New Hampshire aid in there, and considering, um, again, it was like, just thinking about how distinctly Vermont perspectives, including like characters and landscapes and, and themes, um, we were just considering it's important to do that and to introduce that to the world. And so this is kind of thinking about like, how can, it should be, well not it should be, but that like we would like for Vermonters and their stories to be engaged with people in California and Germany and Japan and that our small, seemingly small stories that are personal to us can make waves on a, on a global level. That was a summary. I love that Lucas's group chatted about the weather because that did not come up once <laughs> in our group. Um, but the big themes were universality. We're creating connections through the stories we tell. It's therapeutic to tell personal stories. It's way for us, ways for us to create the things we want to read, the things we want to watch, because maybe we didn't, we weren't able to grow up with these stories because they weren't being told. Um, we're also speaking for those who can't speak. So we talked a lot about community and like how do we how do we move forward in creating this? Part of it is events like this, actually getting out of your house and talking to other people and like voicing it, saying it out loud and seeing that you're not alone and that other people want to hear these stories. Something that I love that someone said was we need to protect our creative time. It's so easy to get caught up in like our day jobs or our side jobs or our kids or whoever. But like set aside time and stick to it and make sure that you take care of that time for you and for yourself. Also, Make sure that there are people that can hold you accountable to what you're doing. So getting out, again, getting out there in your community, do something as a group, do something with your friends, do something with collaborative partners, because you may let yourself down all the time, but you're less likely to let others down if other people are counting on you. Ryan? So uh, similarly, we also had a, maybe there are more important stories than my own to tell um, comment made. And from, you know, the, the 
group of folks that we had, we had somebody from uh, Vermont Public who is curating stories, um, myself who like all my doc work is really telling other people's stories, so you know, it's not necessarily just about telling your personal story, but it's kind of about telling the story of what's important to you, and that can be done through the conduit of telling somebody else's story. Um, another thing that came up was it gives us the power to change hearts and minds and to share perspectives that we have. Um, this sense of connection, both I think from telling a story that you're trying to get the viewer to connect with, but also by the process of making a movie. Perhaps one of the most collaborative places in the world is on a film set, um, or what happens after the film, for the film. Um, another one that I found especially interesting was uh, the ability to address topics that may be uncomfortable. And I think Sean had a quote about uh, a movie is an empathy machine, so we can really connect with somebody when we see them in this light where um, it's potentially a safe space for, for the rest of the audience, um, having a screen between yourself and, and the others. Uh, and then also um, just a sense of discovery and learning. Also be working with other folks that have a certain set of skills and learning something about them. And I think that was kind of the hard part. Great. I just want to plug one more thing before Lucas closes up. We do have our sign-up sheet over there if you guys are interested in the Central Vermont meetup. We have postcards that say a lot about what we're doing here in the community, and we've got some free stickers. Who doesn't want a free sticker? <laughs> yeah. That was going to be my wrap up too. Is that we have a sign up sheet. Follow us on Instagram. Um, but I, th I thank you guys so much for sharing. Um, I know it takes a lot of uh, heart and brain work to sit together and do that. And, um, and I appreciate that. And I hope it was helpful for you guys. <laughs>